This is Business and Economy Network. Hello, wonderful people. Compliments of the season. Thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of your program. This is Business and Economy Network. My name is Ohioze Edna. On our program rundown for today on Company Focus, we bring to you the MD CEO, Financial Trust Company Limited, one of Nigerians' foremost stockbroken firms, has actually been in existence since 1976, situated in Lagos State, Nigeria. For special reports, is the MD CEO, Stein Industries Limited, cultivators and producers of the popular Anambra rice. For Spotlight is the president, Big Magnet International Group, an ICT, marketing and blockchain technology expert. It promises to be an educative watch. Just stay tuned. I'll be right back. Mirapain is a household name in Nigeria. It's a gel indicated for quick relief of pain. Mirapain is a combination of four active ingredients, diclofenac sodium, linseed oil, methyl salicylate, and menthol. These four ingredients are specially blended and formulated together to bring the desired pain relief. Mirapain is for both adults and children. 2 to 8 Success Estate of Brenfield Avenue, Okeafa, Magboro, Ogun State. P.O. Box 977 Ikeja, Lagos. Available in all registered pharmaceutical shops nationwide. Financial Trust Company Nigerian Limited is one of Nigerian's leading stockbroken houses and the first indigenous stockbroken company incorporated in Nigeria May 1976. Duly licensed to carry out stockbroken businesses having been admitted a dealing membership of the then Lagos Stock Exchange, now Nigerian Stock Exchange in 1977. Financial Trust stands as one of the active leading operators in the capital market and the firm has lots of credit having acted on several occasions as broker to the Federal Government Development Stock issuing houses to government par starters, notable reputable insurance companies and industrial firms, with services ranging from capital market services, stock market quotation, investment management services. Mrs. Afolabi Janet Bolaji, Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer of Financial Trust Company Limited. My name is uh, Bolaji Afolabi. Janet. I'm the Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer of Financial Trust Company. Financial Trust Company is a full-fledged uh, financial institution which offers, I mean, a lot of financial services. Established in May, year 1976. That's about 42 years ago. And um, it was established by late Otumba Olufemi Ajayi. We are a member of, the, of, of this exchange. We trade on behalf of our clients. We buy and sell and do um, some other auxiliary services. We've tried as much as possible to position ourselves strategically to actually meet the need of our clients because uh, it is part of our mission to actually put our clients in the middle as in the core of our business. And um, because of that, we've actually deployed uh, people uh, technology, ideas, to make sure that we surface them, I mean, to the best of our knowledge. So because of this, no, like we said, we are financial institution, and our vision is actually to be a financial solution of choice to Nigerians and even beyond the shores of Nigeria. And um, because of this, we've actually looked at all those areas that we, all those platforms that we need to be, to be able to surface them better. Like financial trust, like I mentioned before, we are a member of uh, Nigerian Stock Exchange. We are registered with NASD. Um, we, uh, we, we, are, we are also doing our registration with FMDQ, so that whatever is the need of our clients, we are there to meet it. We are financial trust. Number one of our core value is integrity. The number two is professionalism. Then trustworthiness. 
and also our clients are very very paramount to us because of this you know when it comes to financial institution it's all it's all about trust you need somebody that you can actually entrust your investments that you know that there will not be any issue at the end of the whole matter i mean at the end of the, the whole case but now financial trust like for the past 42 years we are still standing a lot of even store broken houses that came after us, they have all sort of issues. But our clients, we make sure whatever the case may be, even I mean, even when the whole industry was experiencing is hard time in the I mean the recession and even uh, during the 2008 uh, market downward trend, we still make sure that we service our clients properly. And also in the area of technology. We make sure that we deploy the technology that will serve our clients better. Like the uh, minimum operating standard that the Nigerian Stock Exchange is doing has really helped us in this area. One of the requirements is this, uh, the, the trade book, the uh, OMS that we call the Order Management System. And because of this, we are, should I, I call, there's something we call like our seven online services number one starting from the point that you are registering with us as your clients you go online to do that we have online account opening secondly our whole our kyc is also online you don't need to come to our office if we need to visit you to do our kyc we do that on our own you don't need to be in our office thirdly if you are placing your order the mandate you, you give it to us online fourthly you can also trade on your own accounts by yourself. You can buy and sell on our e-trade. We call it FTC e-trader. You understand? So you have the platform of the Nigerian Stock Exchange to yourself that you will be seeing how, it's, how, how it, I mean, as it is going live. You place your order to buy, you place your order to sell. And even after that, the issue of payments, we pay it directly into your bank accounts. You don't need to be coming to our office for your payments to be made. We, we, I mean, we call it a di um, direct payment into your account. And also, if you want to check your account, you can also do it online. So all these services has actually make our clients to be at home with us. And we've been able to service them better in this area and they are comfortable. And of course, we are, we are, we are getting their, <laughs> their interest and their confidence. Okay, it was last year. We actually did a send forth to one of our member of staff who has actually spent 35 years with this organization. We have another one that is going to 40 years now. You know, there is something that Financial Trust uh, is known for. We have actually trained a lot of professionals, a lot of people has actually passed through this organization. And one thing about our staff is that on a yearly basis, we have it as our policy that all our member of staff, you just have to pass through one training or the other. It's very, very important. And we also encourage our staff who are also writing one professional course or the other to make sure that at least they complete it on time and they come out, I mean, with uh, flying colors. Industries Limited is one of Nigeria's biggest rice processing firms situated in Oka, Anambra State. Stein Industries is the sole cultivator and producer of Anambra rice. Chief Akai Egwono is the MD CEO and has been successfully driving the project of food security for Easterners and Nigerians at large. Nigeria consumes no less than 6 to 8.5 million metric tons of rice annually, with only 3 million being produced by our local rice producers. Good news is for governments, operators, and individuals to embrace and keep enhancing the agricultural value chain system to ensure food security for our growing population. To this end, smuggling must be drastically reduced, and Nigerians must eagerly sort for its own made in Nigerian products. Uh, Nigeria consumes uh, between 6 to 8.5 million metric tons of rice annually. Uh, presently, we we have about 3 million covered by local rice mills. We still have a long way. The gap is still large. In as much as uh, um, that can be narrowed down, if 
we try to eradicate smuggling somehow. Because what that will now mean is that there will be more profit for those participating in the agricultural sector. And then you have more new entrants into the agricultural value chain that within a short period of time, that gap will bridge. If you take, for example, a family, the father is into farming, and then the offsprings or the kids are somewhere in Lagos dealing on spare parts or what have you. If they know that if they come back home and partake in agriculture, that they will feed their family, maybe live in a comfortable flat, drive a comfortable car, of course they wouldn't like to be in Lagos with all the traffic and what have you. They would rather want to come back home, eat fresh food and all that. So um, I reckon it won't be long if they start noticing that there's actually profit in the business. That's the main key that will drive people back into the agricultural sector. Imo Rice is not really our brand. It's, it's a brand that we produce for Imo State government. Um, they come to us, and we, like last year, we produced about 25,000 for them. Um, this year, they've not been. They usually come in December. You know, we produce for various segments of markets. Uh, we equally have the branded ones that we produce for other people that want us to put their brand. That want us like supermarkets. We produce for them with their name. Then we do for politicians as well. We do other. If you want to, if your name is X Y Z, maybe the name of your supermarket, and you want that to be on your rice, we do that. So you will see so many rice in the market that do not have our name, but it's equally from us. We equally do some for the distributors. Like some of the bags that you see, Mama Africa, Mama, these are equally from our factory. Mind you, we deal on other agricultural products as well. We don't deal on rice alone. We're about to flow the first beans noodles factory in Nigeria. Purely beans. No artificial uh, flavors, no, it will just be beans. Then we probably do other, we do edible flour. We do feeds, both for chicken and for fish, the floating one. We equally do all that. So, um, some of them are byproducts of the others, and so on. So, we are more into, generally into agriculture. The challenge is, number one is smuggling. We can cotter that that's number one. Number two is power. Number three is scarcity of paddy. If we can start having paddy, different uh, species, then we can produce the best that we compete with any rice in any part of the world. At the moment, we are not having enough paddy. So talking about quality, quality becomes sec secondary or relegated to the background when you are not getting enough of the commodity on its own. So talking about quality at the same time, sometimes conflicts. It's, it's very promising. It's the way to go. Uh, the profit is not where it's meant to be yet, but very soon we'll get there. It's the only sector that they can go in. From the second that they go in, they start making some profit. They, they can start growing from there. It depends on the type of time and investment that they want to make in it. But it's one sector that is open for all. It's a sector that I will advise any young Nigerian to go in. Any part of agriculture is good at the moment in Nigeria. It's like a virgin area. One to two teaspoonful of cough flax cough syrup three times daily gives you fast relief from chesty and dry cough. Cough flax clears your cough and symptoms of cold associated with it. Cough flax is available for adults and children. Cough flax, 
the cough syrup for every family. Manufactured by Drugfield Pharmaceuticals Limited. Bip Magnet International Group is an ICT marketing driven body with its very positive mentality and never seen to talk about failures. The firm is situated in the heart of the center of excellence with Ambassador Gilead de Kolonko as the president. Bip Magnet is out with the blockchain technology geared to be true positive exchange for value on all its products and services. Ambassador Gilead designs lots of attractions and rewards for every subscriber of the Qtrade AI with equity shares for not less than 10 decades. All hands must be on deck as government alone cannot solve the issues in Africa. Deep Magnet Group have actually decided that it is possible for us to bring what we call global loyalty solution. And based on that, it led to the development of what we call the BMCT. BMCT, what does it represent? It simply means blockchain merchant and consumer tokens blockchain merchant and consumer tokens is actually that integrator for one thing it is not a token that you would actually purchase from anywhere it is a true exchange for value we are setting that precedence and that precedent that we are setting is to ensure or prove that blockchain technology can be used to solve problems transparently. We are also using our organization as a proof that yes, no matter the complexity in that space, the government can truly depend on blockchain technology. Now, when we talk about the BMCT, Qtrade AI have a primary role to play. And what is that role? We are saying to all our subscribers, Beyond you subscribing to Qtrade AI, where our AI trades for you monthly, you enjoy 5 to 20%. And at the same time, we have a contract with you for one year. We are saying that we are also giving you something more. And what is that? We are giving you equity shares in our masternodes. This name may sound very big to those who are listening. But the, the point is, we are going to break it down. So when we talk about that for every individual who have subscribed to our service, we are saying to you, you can be part of those who would have a share in the masternodes. The masternode is actually a technical term on the blockchain, which allows for what we call confirmation of transactions. Confirmation of transactions through the blockchain means that Encrypted transactions move from one point to the next. So what are we saying to everyone? That the moment you actually subscribe to Qtrade AI, you have an opportunity to have what? A share. In that particular process that allows transactions to pass through the network. This opportunity is limited. Because it has a bearing on Africa. The reason why we say it has a bearing on Africa is because we have created 11 use cases that would actually go around the world. But our interest is that from Africa, we should have that particular entry point. And that is why we are giving that privilege to individuals who are going to subscribe to Qtrade AI to be part of this. So what this means is that for everybody that has subscribed now with Qtrade AI, these individuals would do what? Would enjoy equity. This equity that you are going to get would reward you for 100 years. What that means is that as long as transactions is passing through the network, all those who have equity in the network will continue to get a piece of the pile for the next 100 years. This piece of pie is exactly the concept that I developed when I was building the algorithm of the BMCT blockchain. So we are very much confident in the blockchain algorithm that has been designed. Now, 
if you do not want to miss out on this opportunity, all you need to do is to do what? Be part of Qtrade AI. In addition to that, we recognize other fundamental principles. And because my background is in marketing, everything that we do, we always find a way to give back. Because we believe this, the government alone cannot solve all the problems in Africa. Enterprise, entrepreneurship holds the key for us to embrace what we call the new age technology. This new age technology is connected with what I call the quantum revolution. But take note, if you take advantage of this particular process and become part of what we are doing, that would actually have a lot to leapfrog you from where you are to the next. So Qtrade AI have all of this that is embedded in it. So like I said, because we recognize that individuals who are going to use our solution would be so impressed that they will actually share the same information with their friends. Our system recognized that effort. This effort that they recognize is rewarded. And that is why we are confident that with our solution, we are open for government consultation. We are open for empowerment consultation. When you come to us, we will open the blueprint in terms of how you can use this solution to empower thousands. How this can be designed as a scheme to help individuals who are interested to be empowered. So, this is the second aspect of our subsidiary. Now, like I said, we have 11 use cases. But I'm not going to say all of that. But you need to watch out for the activity of Big Magnet Group. This is Business and Economy Network. Welcome back viewers. Hope you had a wonderful time and learned something new as usual on today's episode of our program. Before I go, I want to thank you so much for your contributions and for staying with us all through 2018. Without you, we would not have made it this far. As we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, I just want to advise that we drive safely, drink wisely, and also eat healthy. For more information, visit our website. And for past episodes of the program, it can actually be viewed on our YouTube channels displayed on your screen. Join us same time, same station next week. We love you. God bless you. Long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible sing. Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. Hark now hear the angels sing, a new king born today. That man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. By night, they see a bright new shining star. They hear a choir sing a song, the music seems to come from afar. 